Hey fam, welcome back to the Philip Scott Show. I am Ongil Zalalem bringing you this bizarre story. Apparently, there is a rapper by the name of Dan Sir. <laughs> I kid you not, that's what his name is, probably his stage name. I don't think any parent would call their kid Dan Sir. So that's his name. And he's on the news currently because he decided to get golden chains attached to his head. And it looks heavy. It looks horrible. I just, I don't understand why, but that's what he decided to do. And I think he deserves the name, the real life Goldilocks. What is wrong with rappers these days, specifically American rappers? It, he said the reason for him doing this is because he wanted to be the first. And he says that he is the first to do this from the whole entire world. And I understand why, like who would do this? And he said, I hope people don't copy me. I really don't think anybody will copy him. But these days, who knows? Because these kids are just copying these rappers. They get face tattoo, they get it. They rap about drugs, they go do it. They rap about getting many women pregnant, they go do it. So for some unknown reason, these people are really influential. Although I don't know this rapper, maybe he's new, maybe this is how he decided to blow up. So. Uh, I guess it's working. We don't know him for his music, but we know him for his gold locks. This is incredibly funny to me and sad at the same time. But if that was his intention, I guess good for him to get us talking about him. And I think that's precisely why he did it. But at the same time, I just look at these things and I'm like, what happened to real music, real art and rapping about the things that matter and rapping about the things that you can tell that people will relate and you just you know you do it because you are talented you do it because it's in you now it's it's all about clout it's all about getting famous so it doesn't matter how good he raps it's all about you know what he got on his head or what he got on his neck and on his wrist so it's slowly dying real art real music because Everything is about getting more followers and making sure that everybody talks about you, good or bad. Same thing with a little Uzi. What did he do? He put on diamond on his forehead that costs more than his cars and house combined. And did you hear about what happened? He lost it, almost lost it. He dove into a crowd while he was performing and they snatched it off his forehead can you imagine he said thankfully he got it back but i was saying the exact same thing when i did a report on little uzi i was saying how now he's become a target he needs to have more bodyguards diamond um i mean good for him if that's what makes him happy we're happy for him but as always the concern is when you have when you he's literally more expensive than uh, he's walking around with a diamond on his forehead like he's a moving target a walking moving talking target so how is he not increasing his risk of people trying to get his um his diamond from his forehead and to make it worse it's not like it's on his ring or his chain that somebody can just pull a gun on him and tell him give me give me give me give me give me and take it and run now it's on his forehead how will they try to take it just use your imagination how will someone try if i was a thief <laughs> how will i try to take that diamond from this man's forehead that is inserted first of all i don't even know how they're going to do that but i'm sure they they'll they'll find a way uh, i'm sure he's he has enough money to facilitate that but how will someone steal that diamond no, I don't think I need to say it. So they can just, he, is it worth losing his life over? So unfortunately, I predicted what was going to happen to little Uzi. It happened, but uh, fortunately for him, he got back the diamond and he's going to probably put it back again. Good luck to him. So now this kid is carrying cages of gold on top of his head just so people can talk about him and he could be the first person to have gold chains attached to his scalp. Oh my God, I can't even imagine. Imagine that in a hot day. Imagine when you're trying to sleep. Like how does he even sleep? Oh my God, it's just too much work. I, I wish him all the luck, I guess. Let's see what's gonna happen to him. <laughs> Worst is if he faced a thief and uh, 
that's gonna hurt. Anyways, let us know down below what your thoughts are about the real life Goldilocks. I am Wangil Zalal, I'm bringing you the story. I will see you on the next one. Bye.